Right, this is going to be my review of the Gerber Gator Junior Machete. These are pretty well known in America. They've been out for a few years. Now, I've had mine for a few months now. Not really used it all too much, to be honest, but, you know, it's about time. Give me an opinion on it, I think. Now, in America, you can get these with the sheath included for about $15. And luckily in the UK, these are going for about 30 to £40 pound with the sheath included, which is... You know, ludicrously expensive for what it is, I think. Now, um, for that money, what are you getting? Obviously, as you can see, you are getting a nylon sheath. It's not bad. It has got some support riveting along the area of it. You can see it's double stitched. More than probably not, it's too dark. What lets it down, though, is this horrible Velcro belt strap and fasten it. Honestly, if you was using this on a daily or weekly basis, I wouldn't imagine the Velcro strap lasting more than six months. You know, um, I've seen wear straps, but you could be doing better for your money, in the UK at least. Now, the machete itself, as you can see, it's, um, do you know what, I can't even remember the length. 15 inches, 16 inches, I'll put an annotation in with the correct length. But, um, as you can see, it's quite a sizable little thing, despite it being the junior one. Um, you look at it, the grip is what probably gets your attention first, and I can say this is a very comfortable grip. It's obviously hard plastic with a rubberized texture. You've got your lanyard hole here with your lanyard, I'll go onto that in a minute. But um, the grip probably makes up a lot of the machete. You know, when you're cutting through wood, logs, roots, whatever, if you're feeling all the shock coming through from the blade into your hands, it's going to make your hands sore and you, your performance with the machete is going to be really reduced. The rubber coating on this and the thick plastic material is going to take a lot of that shock and impact out. Now the blade, as far as I'm aware, is full tang. If it's not, I'll add an annotation in. But um, it does run the full length of the handle, I believe, and it is riveted in place. So you're not getting some Mickey Mouse blade that's going to fly out if you take a swing, which is, you know, good, obviously. The blade itself... I believe it's made of high carbon steel blade. It's high carbon steel, sorry, which is good. Anything over 10 inches, that stainless steel is going to be bad because it'll be brittle. And if you're taking swings at logs and whatever, the blade's going to shatter and crack. Now, the blade, actually, as a standard back, is quite flexible. It's not bad, not a bad feature, I should say, because the blade is going to be bending a lot when you're taking swings. As you can see, there is a bit of a neck in it there. I took a bit of a I've been ambitious with it really. It's about a three inch log. I tried it on. It was a bit tough for it, you know, a bit out of its depth. It has performed well though, I have to say. The saw on it especially is quite exceptional. I think one inch logs, probably one inch in circumference I should say, at its um, max point. One inch logs under roots, tall grass, ivy. It does well on all of them. And for the money, am I impressed? Well, Yes and no. I mean, you look at what you can get for your money in the UK, especially. I mean, you look at some of the cold steel stuff. I mean, <laughs> you should see the videos they produce of their machetes. I mean, I think they've got the two-handed katana style machete. I mean, they're cutting through pigs with it and everything. You know, you compare it to this. You know, it does seem a bit outmatched, but I have to say, I mean, this machete's got some good points. It's got its down points. And if you're just looking for a light tool, you know, it's good on the hands, not too bad on the wallet, I suppose. You know, you may want to give this one a go. Alright, um, probably not the most refined review out there, like, but, yeah, that's my two cents on it, I guess. Cheers for watching.